Whenever a girl is attracted to you, she wants to get your validation. She wants to know that you approve of her. And a way of getting your validation is to get your physical touch. So that's why she'll find a way to touch you as well. The physical touch can pretty much be anything. It can be as small as a playful punch after you tease her all the way up to a kiss. If a girl is attracted to you, she'll find a way to get close to you because this is her way of shooting her shot without actually shooting her shot because girls are, of course, afraid to approach you. So I actually don't think this is the worst take. This one's not even that bad. Yeah. yeah, I do think girls will sometimes be more physical if they're attracted to you, but it depends on the person. Like, I am hella touchy with people, hee <laughs> like if I know them. Honestly, I did a freaking meet and greet, I hugged like everyone. I'm just kind of like that. I mean, at the very least, if she's like touchy with you and playful, it's a good, a good sign. sign. Yeah. And at least it means like she's not scared of you. Yeah. But also that doesn't mean like oh, she brushed up on my arm. I think she wants to have my children. Yeah. <laughs> True. You shouldn't take girls out on dates. And why? here's why. Now, when I say this, I mean don't take her to a boring, generic dinner date like every other guy. The purpose of a date is so that y'all can see if you have chemistry, have fun, and it could possibly lead somewhere. Have it be an experience rather than another boring dinner date that she's gonna go to. Like, I like personally, food. I went through a phase <laughs> where I never took girls Dude, all out the girls on in dates, the comments are like, it smells like broken here. Mm, no, we'd rather go to dinner. <laughs> if a girl has girl has brown hair, you would be like, you know what? I really like blondes. Or like, you know why I would never work between us? Because we'd always fight and I'd always win. Right? That's like the oldest line in the game. But it's a takeaway. We wouldn't be a good fit. You're off. Wait, what? Why is he saying that? What the fuck is this guy saying? Is he saying so like he, you should disagree so that yeah. she chases after you? If she's a brunette, say you like blondes. Oh. So, if a dude says she like that's me, I just leave. Bye. I'm like, okay. Well, Imagine then. like boiling it down to someone's hair color. That, for starters, I'm like, if you boil down your love interest to, to, to people's hair colors, we wouldn't match anyways. But then also too, isn't that just a person's way of being like, I'm not into you? Yeah, okay. he's teaching Negi. We're gonna be really good friends, right? It's a takeaway. It's disqualifying her. Every guy she talks to is not saying that. Every guy she talks to is like trying to make her like him or trying to impress her. And you're the one guy who's like, we're gonna be really good friends. And all of a sudden, she becomes interested in you, even though she wasn't five seconds ago because you hit the brake pedals like the instead heart. of the gas pedal. So you copy, you oh, can man, do the same thing. Ugh. Hit the brake pedal. Hit the brake pedal, dude. Jason Capital's got it. He's got it on lock. He's a, he's a social media copywriter. He's a CEO of Copywriter Network. He knows what's up. He knows how to get women. You guys don't. Man. One time I was at a car dealership, <laughs> there was just a stunner sitting there. So I walked up oh. and they're like, dude, dude, let's let's see you pick her up. There ain't no way you can get that girl. So I rolled over there and started talking to her. It turns out she has a boyfriend. Or an abort mission. So I turn around and I'm walking away. And one of my guys says, thought you were a closer, bro. Shut up, man. And I thought, damn, because dude, I tried and she said no. So I rolled over there and I said, hey, let me ask you a question. She said, yeah. I said, what'd you have for dinner last night? She said, pasta. And I said, what'd you have the night before? She said, chicken. And I said, why didn't you have pasta? She goes, why would I eat pasta every night? And I said, exactly. <laughs> That's not really? a real story. That's it? That's literally the. No, no, yeah. no. Keep then, it going. Keep it going. And then the girl going. was like, oh, look, no, no, no. Oh, pause, champ. Pause, champ. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> Call me when you're tired of pasta. And dude, oh. three days later, she called me. Yeah! And she no, was no, like, no, no, she didn't. No, she fucking didn't. <laughs> Apparently, her boyfriend wasn't treating her right. She called That's me. Bullshit. We dated for like a year and a half. But it was because of, a, of that, that that she called me. So it's not always a takeaway. You know, sometimes it could be charming. Mm. Sometimes it could be, you know, just something they find cute. No shot, dude, okay? This dude just made this up. This is a fake story. Yep. Agreed. Yeah, I got fucking, yeah. Let me treat you right. Mind you, we dated for a year and a half, no actual photos of her, no yeah, like- Yeah, using like a random actor. Yeah. Right. Embarrassing. But also if a dude hits on me while I'm in a relationship, I'm like, oh, like you're a bad dude. I would never date yeah. that person. Even, even if I broke up with my- Even someone who's as stupid as like Trump won, as in like Trump won, Biden's a communist. Even this guy <laughs> who thinks Donald Trump is the president right now of the United States of America is like, nah, dude, that's too far for me, bro. Source, trust me, bro. Even he's not. He's Wait, not also, he's painting himself as a dumbass for dating someone who left their boyfriend that easily. Yeah. For a year and a half. Like, you're proud of that? And then, what? Did you guys break up because she got tired of chicken? Like, <laughs> boom. Fucking. <laughs> Roasted. <laughs> 
Got him. I don't want to get too Freudian, but like the guys who need fucking dating coaching were the ones who frankly just didn't get enough love from mommy when they were growing up. And so they get really needy. This is like, these guys are, oh God, I love PUA so much. They're just so broken. No, me too, actually. But he, he is close to being self-aware for sure. What's pissing me off almost more than the words coming out of his mouth is that line in his hair like he has a hairline and there's hair on one side but there's no hair on the other side of the hairline oh you mean he got like a shape up that's disastrous yeah but wouldn't you not have that line there i don't know what happened there like why is it well, he zeroed on there like he literally yeah zeroed, yeah no exactly which is wouldn't weird. you not like you would want it to be like cohesive calling out more bullshit look when i'm at the gas station this ain't no Yeehaw. christian mingle this ain't farmers only that this ain't no dating site i'm in and out please don't try to try to get a good no good a good snack number one fear of men rejection and you're going to make a video making fun of him for trying his best to show interest in you. Gary, I got to go. You, this is like literally my sphinx sees me I'm at my so worst. I need God. freaking subtitles to understand this woman. And you have the audacity oh, to act like this is Christian mingle. This ain't no Christian mingle. This ain't farmers only. She's right. It's like, don't She's come saying, hey, yo, I just want to get gas. Please don't hit on me. You're mad at a guy for shooting his shot? Yeah, sometimes people got shit to do. Sometimes the timing is not appropriate. <laughs> sometimes Why? I saw a biker wants to show me a little Mario dick with some little Mario pubes while I'm trying to talk to Twitch chat. What is that, bro? What? Are you what? Please. What? Why is this in my favorites? <laughs> what? person to try to talk to you when is it okay to talk to you so your assumption of people trying to pick up other people at a gas station is that they're for sure a decent person yeah all you the, have no idea all the decent men are picking up ladies at the gas station you just don't I mean, it doesn't mean that they're not but it doesn't mean that there is so next time somebody tries to talk to you in the real world not in the freaking cyberspace say hello this no, has he's this fake. This has to be fake. Yeah, he, it's fake. No, no, no. He's like actually like this apparently because he's fucking. No he's not trolling. He's on hella trend. He also has trash vaccine takes on Insta. Oh my no gosh. One yeah. of the kind of keys to beginning to break this is actually actually just oh, breaking it. I love it. this. I, I love this. this. I've seen this guy before. Low that status behavior. Okay. This is the guy who like screams about beta males, right? Right now, as you're speaking, what's happening? is you're looking, your point of orientation is on everyone here. He's going, hey, like that. And he's worried what you're gonna think. There's something in him that's oriented not the right way. Do you see that? It's oriented in him not the right way. Hey. This guy's never gotten pussy, okay? <laughs> and honestly, I really, I, I'm just, you know, he should probably not be around women. <laughs> no, or give us your A, give us your A. <laughs> is that good? I gotta, I gotta. Offer. No, I can one up you. Uh, Yo, <laughs> my oh. A's kind of. <laughs> I can do an opera. I, you want to do an opera voice? Yeah, I got let's opera go. voice. That was pretty wow. good. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Damn, that worked. This guy's right. to be in the choir <laughs> hassan these guys are making sense to me i'm scared i'm turning into an insult what do i do literally opposite of whatever the fucking no know. just keep listening to us okay we'll break it down for you because here's what they do there's a term for this what is it called when you mislead people by sprinkling in crumbs of truth 
Oh, oh yeah. You know, like they will give slight good advice that makes sense, but then they'll just take it to the fucking extreme yeah. to a point that uh, like you really should not follow. Half, half truths, gaslighting is what people are You try to do that. Okay. He goes for real. Okay, so he thinks he Okay, that's bitch made, dude. Come on, give me a good one. You, you gotta have a better one. That's what he's doing. He's doing that. Isn't that crazy? Walk in the crowd a little bit, go. This guy's like, are you serious? Wait, what's that song where it's like. This dude's like, I don't wanna be annoying. <laughs> Every human in the world needs to spend a couple months contemplating RAS. If you haven't spent a couple months contemplating RAS. This is literally the worst style I've ever seen. First of all, <laughs> why are you getting the side fade and keeping the top up like that when it's like, it's gone, bro. Just fucking go full ball. <laughs> like you have a nice beard, go full fucking ball. Oh my God, I can see the sweat beads too. And, and he's got like, I don't know what the fuck he's got, but it's like the lowest fucking neck line I've ever seen. He's got what double dog called tags that are long as fuck. Oh my God, that looks like a sage pendant. Uh, oh, maybe it is. Oh, Particular gee, you're captivated. That's why he's wearing that. He just got you. He literally All Valorant e girls are like. <laughs> oh That's his tar target demo. Oh no. It's called style drift. Something you wouldn't know about. She's Jeez. got the pink flannel with like. What are those shoes, man? He's like wear black shoes. He's got like bowling shoes on. What the heck? He looks like a youth pastor that <laughs> shouldn't be a youth pastor anymore. The worst YouTube one, Alpha Mick 6.24. No way. Seven gives women want, but will never ask. Yo, look at the, Seven yo, habits yo, look at the crotch thumbnail. Bigger. Scroll down. Nine, oh, what the fuck? It's just a dick. <laughs> It's just like 99% do this wrong. These guys' strong. thumbnails are fucking Have insane. <laughs> like, I don't even know if I can show his thumbnails. I feel like how to flirt without being creepy and how to approach women. Oh, let's go, poggers. Yo, you know what the number one telltale sign for someone being an alpha? Hey, what is it? When they title their channel alpha. Well, yeah, that's just like how you know. Is the most alpha it's the way most you alpha know. thing. There's when a dude thing. goes, no, but like I'm an alpha male. I'm just like, damn. You really are. Yes, sir. Yup. Someone said, fuck, I watched a hair advice video from that dude and it was so bad. <laughs> now it's time to make eye contact. Essentially, you want to purposely get caught checking them out. This means glance in their direction repeatedly until you catch their eye. All right, so you purposely have to get caught checking them out. All right, so the way that I would do this is to actually just keep glancing over in their direction. Don't just stare. <gasps> Oh, the car, you know? This is creepy, and people can tell when they're being stared at. Subtle. <laughs> Little glances. I mm -hmm. actually yeah. like that. It's, it's Gentlemen. It's Wait, what do, you, what do you like? What? He is like, don't make like the creepy eyebrows or whatever, but I think sometimes if someone like, kind if someone of someone comes up here and is doing this like, mm. No, like they, they kind of know like they are... Like a Bollywood, like, like a Bollywood antagonist. Yeah. No, you want uh, someone to come up to you and do one of these? I things. forget you. Never mind. She's <laughs> imagining a very specific instance. Yes. Oh my gosh. Like this. Oh. I'm good with it. Oh, look at look at all the moves I can do with my eyebrow. You're like, wow, your eyebrow dexterity is through the roof. Yeah, they like, teach so me. So turned on right now. It's not about being turned on. It's like, oh look, he can have fun. But I think you should talk about how like. You need to be very um, strategic with how a girl looks back at you. Like if she looks and she does not look pleased, if she's yeah, making eye true. contact with you and she does not look happy, do not pursue it. True. If she looks at you and looks away, but like doesn't smile, doesn't do anything, maybe not a good sign. Maybe you just accidentally made eye contact. I'm learning so much about women. The best is when you guys do make eye contact, but like she smiles or she waves or something. That's like very clear cut, positive sign. Say, Hello. hello audience. Hello audience. Now if I say hello audience, and you say it. Hello audience. Hello audience. Oh hello audience. Okay, he's trying his best, I love it. But notice that even with the bad manifestations, you can actually go even a level deeper. And this is why body language, as she said, is very important to study, but then it's equally important to go even deeper than body language and ask yourself, what does that body language represent? Because if you're insecure inside yourself, even with really good body language, if I'm like, right? Because that's what you've been doing. Yeah. Do you want to know how I would work on him, by the way? Do you want to know what I'd really do? I'd make him so uncomfortable 
that he'd move into a higher status behavior because he goes for safety. He's trying to hide at the center of the tribe. So if I make your life completely miserable and then I re-anchor that to when you actually are better because this little low status thing is hiding. You're hiding. What are you hiding from? What are you hiding from? Ew, he's touching his chin. Tell her what you're hiding from. Pain. From pain? Uh, are you afraid that someone like her wouldn't talk to you? Does that scare you? Say, I'm afraid you wouldn't talk to me. Say it. I'm afraid you wouldn't talk to me. I'm afraid you'd make me feel unattractive. I'm afraid you'd make me feel unattractive. I think I couldn't meet someone like you. I think I couldn't meet someone like you. Okay, now, listeners, vocal tonality there. Does he sound honest? That's a problem. Now, does he? Okay. He sounds now, like he's just repeating what say, you're saying to me. I completely know that I could meet someone like you. I completely know that I could meet someone like you. Does he sound honest? He's on the fence, right? Do you see that? He's Okay, he watch this, okay? Face same. this way? Okay. There is no difference between the first Yeah, part. yeah. Oh, he's just, he's just saying what he's oh telling him to God. say. Listen, could this guy maybe use some more confidence? Sure. I don't think yelling at him is the way to get him there, though. Yeah. I also don't think faking it till you make it always works in this sense. Like a little bit sometimes, but maybe not from where he's coming at it. I also think it's funny that this dude is like, I am a master in body language and tone and showing off confidence. Yet he's just frightening me. And this is just through a video. Like the way he he's taught. He's not is... like a very confident person. I, I mean, think I so. think maybe he thinks he, wait, do you mean the instructor or the? No, the instructor. I don't think the instructor. I think the instructor person. does think that like he cracked the code in some regard and that he can really help people. But I don't know if this is the way to really go about it. Out of 10, I rate myself a 10. I rate myself a 9. I rate myself a 9. I rate myself an 8. I rate myself an 8. I rate myself a 7. I rate myself a 7. Three. I rate myself a 2. I rate myself a 2. I rate myself a 10. I rate myself a 10. I rate myself a 2. I rate myself a 2. I rate myself a 3. I rate myself so a 3. <laughs> I think he just says 3 funny. Do you see now why congruence is so important? Even if you get the body language down, they're still going to sense the congruence. Now, when she said she can detect energy, can you easily see incongruent statements versus congruent? Okay, this is actually like a little bit in agreement with what he's saying, not everything he's saying. But in regards to like tone and the manner in which you say things and how it impacts the way that people look at you and interact with you, he is speaking in a manner that is so aggressive that it is intimidating. So anytime he asks a question, people just agree with him right off the bat. I don't think that means they actually do. He's just fucking yelling at them. Do you think there's any chance that in front of another 40 people, if you yell something at someone that they're going to say no? Obviously not. And if he really understood the mechanics of all these things, shouldn't he know that? Shouldn't he try to make it like a more encouraging like, situation for people to actually speak their truth? Instead, he's just freaking monologuing. Body language and fixing that. Look at the pain oh my God. and the torture the and the agony. Yeah. And you want to know what Leave the mainstream alone. would tell me? <laughs> To do to he him? did not consent. Yeah. They'd say, just be a nice guy. Oh, I feel bad getting, for him. He's getting sadder by the moment. Yeah, I really? feel it. Who's million, he going to meet if I just say, crying. don't work on your body language. Don't work on your beliefs. Don't work on your congruence. Don't get better at meeting people. He's don't so build going. up the ability to read social cues. Don't learn how to meet a bunch of people. That's a naughty thing to do. <laughs> Stay like this. Now, he looks cute. If this stays like this for another 10 years, naughty. how old are you now? Naughty, naughty. What does this look like at 30? What does this look like at 40? Does it even make it to 40? What does this look like at what? 50? Oh my God, that's so rude. He can't even take this as a joke. If, I'm, if I was at an Anthony what? Robbins seminar and he's like, what's this guy can look like 10 years? I'd be laughing my ass off because that's kind of funny. When someone yells that out, there is no humor. What? what? I'm going to be honest. No matter how many years uh, this dude ages, he's always gonna look better than you, motherfucker. Ooh. Okay. What is he doing? Why is he like dressed it. like this? Why yeah. is this his drip? He okay, like no, it. not. People say my drip is bad. Like this guy is on a different planet, dude. Oh, it's what, maybe he always just rocks the pla plaid shirt outside, tank top inside combo. Was that a suicide, uh, like implication? By the way. I don't know. Men will fucking men will pay five thousand dollars to go to the. You know, how to get pussy seminar instead of going to therapy, dude. Cheers. I think that is one of the most horrendous things you could ever do or say to someone publicly, especially in front of others. Implying that they are potentially so unattractive or like 
Like they won't make They it. lack so much self-esteem that they might kill themselves. Those are the type of things that make people kill themselves. What the heck? So does this get better? Because this sucks. That's so gross. Oh, it keeps going. Leave him it's alone. It's 54 minutes of just him bashing on this kid i feel so bad because like rarely are you ever put in a situation where someone like an authoritative figure like talks about you like that in front of so and many others audience yes in front of an commanding. audience these things are gonna like stay yeah. in his brain forever he's gonna think oh because the he's audience being was programmed. there yeah the yeah. audience they all like, agree like yeah. this is true uh -huh. if i don't change by 40 like oh my god and he's he only can't even 20? laugh he can barely laugh right now <laughs> He's contracted. You guys see it? It's Do you see it's the contraction? Scary. He's in Bro, it's because you look like a pedophile and you're touching oh God, his stop. face. Okay? It's because stop. Motherfucker, he's got he's the Waco yelling. glasses on. And to be fair, actually, the Waco dude was hotter than this guy. You know what I mean? He's just like, he looks like he couldn't cut it as a cult leader because he's too fucking unattractive. So now he has to do this to go find motherfuckers who are literally like some of the most saddest dudes and some of the most scared dudes on the fucking planet so we can put them down because his fucking, you know, acting career didn't take off. Yeah, David Koresh was hot, okay? He was hot. I'll say it, you know? Whatever. He was I don't know here. if my opinion as a fish matters much here, but if I was at a party and I saw these two dudes talking... I would much rather talk with like the quiet guy because at least that's kind of mysterious versus the dude who's fucking yelling and thinks he's an alpha. Wait, Canadian co-founder RSD describes forcing sex on woman. Uh, that's huh? the least. That is the least surprising thing I've seen today. He's just really? like real social dynamics. Controversial LA-based company that offers men seminars on how to pick up women appears to have boasted about sexually assaulting a woman. There you go. What did he say? No. Details. You want to hear the details? Yeah, yeah, yeah. verbatim. What do you say? In the undated video, Cook told a small group of men it was in the morning. She was taking a shower, and didn't she? And I didn't think she wanted to have sex again, but I just threw her on the bed. He recounts how he proceeded to have intercourse with the unwilling woman, whom he described as just totally not in the mood. Cook explained his behavior by saying he didn't care what he did to her because he didn't plan to see her again. Cook then <gasps> described in explicit detail how he proceeded to have intercourse with a woman. And I'm like, I'll just make this quick because she doesn't even want it. The 35-year-old father of one. I feel bad for that one. Often goes by Tyler Durden, the name of Brad Pitt's character in the movie Fight Club. Bro, How just fuck? like oblivious? I mean, this and dude has up. like this dude actually has to admit to essentially raping someone. He has like 168,000 subscribers. This video has 230,000 fucking. Well, good thing we can't see the dislikes anymore. Thanks, YouTube. I actually hate that. Now yeah, I just clicked I on this it. video and I'm thinking this is good advice. All I see is 8,000 likes. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, YouTube. How girls really, really want you to talk to them on a different minutes. channel? What you're about Let's to learn. learn. Oh, this is, this is my favorite. Might, this is my favorite. This is my Gary, favorite. This guy's but it might indirect communication traditionally is a feminine form of communication, and it what? is the default setting for most girls. Okay. Is this true? I think so. Damn, this video is spitting right now. Okay, never mind. Turn my entire world around. Thank you, Arya. Is the total <laughs> opposite. Today, however, indirect communication is gradually becoming the default setting for many guys, and this is where problems can arise. When talking to girls and even other guys, so many dudes get it wrong. Think about it like this. Imagine you're in a restaurant and the waitress asks you if you're ready to order. Many guys will say, uh, yes, can I have the chicken alfredo please? And later they act surprised when the waitress isn't attracted to them. Remember how you say something or the tone of voice that you use is even more important than what you actually say. When Wait, the what? Why is the... What? More modern guys' head so big, and then the <laughs> like yeah, the past weird. guy's head is like much smaller. Wait, I don't understand. You just mm -hmm. why is he comparing to ordering a chicken Alfredo? First of all, you just say, "Can I get the chicken Alfredo, please?" Like what? I, I'm so confused. How are you? Are you doubting yourself when you're ordering <laughs> a chicken Alfredo? What the fuck? <laughs> Talking to a woman who isn't a waitress. I'll order the chicken Alfredo, please. <laughs> Damn, why can't I get pussy? <laughs> And instead of asking if you can have the chicken alfredo, you say, yes, I'll take the chicken alfredo. Using both the tone of your voice. Bro, this makes no sense. Are you trying to fuck the waitress or the chicken alfredo? What is going on? Who are you fucking in this scenario? What is happening? For sure, the chicken alfredo. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck does this have to do with like talking to But only waitress? because if you're watching this video, you're not fucking the waitress, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah, oh yes, I'll take the chicken alfredo. <laughs> no, like what's no, up, sir. sploosh? You're not asking permission. 
you're basically telling her that you're going to take the chicken alfredo whether she I likes like it or not it is important please. to remember whether she likes it or is... not the fuck do you mean she has a job she's serving you as a part of the job this is so strange dude do you... the reason why he's using this as an example is because this is the only time he's interacted with a woman that's not his mom <laughs> that's why he's like you know when the waitress comes over and you say oh yes i'll have the chicken alfredo not asking for permission by the way when you speak directly and powerfully, you are pressing that little attraction button that is inside most girls. Think about the guy what? who plays in Thor in the Avengers I'm movies and how he it's speaks the in those movies. Shit I've wow. ever heard no. yeah, never. in my whole I life. I prefer the first guy. He said, "Please, it was nice." <laughs> Yeah, yeah she's so these imagine are, these women are lying right now. They would be so turned on. You're if pressing was like, that Give me the chicken, Alfredo, button. woman. Hey, by the way, straight up, if you're ever on a date, if you're lucky enough to finally go on a date, okay, is you definitely didn't watch any of these videos to get there. Because if you watch a single one of these videos, it's over. You're never getting a date, right? Definitely do Girl. not be mean to the people that are working at the restaurant. <gasps> That's always the, That's number, it's the number one, one turn, off. turn off. Number yep. one turn off for everyone yep, yep, yep. that has a soul that you would want to be with. Yep. After this video, you will know how to make any girl, whether she's your friend, your girlfriend, or just a random girl from your class, extremely horny and sexually addicted to you no. just by sitting next to her. Extremely horny and sexually addicted to you. He's talking like, first of all, why would you make your, why would you want to make your girlfriend horny? Like you guys are already dating. I'm sure, you know, she's into you. I hope. Okay, so let's get started with the tip number one. Sit really close. When you are with this girl you are sexually attracted to, find an excuse to sit really close to her. Pull out your tablet and show off a cool new app or read out a long interesting article from a magazine she if likes. If a dude pulled but out his tablet and showed me an app, I tablet. would run. I, I bring my tablet <laughs> yeah, everywhere I my go. My iPad out of my back pocket. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Hey, I just started playing Candy Crush. Have you heard of it? Wait, I don't get it. Y you're, you're telling me that... Wait, what? This entire time I've been like walking around with my tablet That's and, and showing girls new apps that I have on my phone. Make sure you are sitting in a tight spot so your arms are touching like each other. And even no, 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 you're this missing. Looks like GTA. You're missing really important <laughs> points here. Trust, trust. Are you ready? Yeah. Next to her, make sure you are sitting in a tight spot so your arms are touching each other. And even he's saying trap her in a corner. <laughs> If it's a random girl, you need to trap her in a fucking Just push corner. Push her in so your arms are touching. And if there's a lot of space to sit on, squeeze close to her and immediately shift her focus to the table or book in your hand so she's Ooh. too distracted to slide her butt away from you. Make sure her your arms touch each other's because so the soft grazing of both leave. your arms is crucial to ruse the sexual tension and turn her on. Number two, keep her interested. Don't talk flirty at all. It will raise her. Guard. She's already touching you and she's obviously conscious of that. Get her distracted from the touches by having an interesting conversation with her. Get her attention by <laughs> gossiping. It's very weird because like, I, I, I've already seen this video, but this is a tutorial to do sexual harassment. No, literally. <laughs> yeah. I brought you here I to feel watch... so bad for people that watch this and do it and then no, are this just is literally labeled creeps. Because they are. They are being... No, they are, but they were taught to be. Okay, but like, if you're getting your fucking news or like, so some people are just clueless. Like, they want to learn from someone. I'm gonna they be don't honest. Have anyone to I'm gonna be honest. If you're if you're it's typing sad. in how to make a girl instantly horny, and then you like are like, this is fucking sick. Oh wait, I would know if this video sucked or not if I could see the dislike <laughs> button. But Listen, I don't if a know, video has two million views and only ten k likes, just know. I mean, I don't just know. Just know that ratio is off. I see zero off. dislikes. I see zero dislikes. It, so what's clearly. more annoying is you still see the dislike button. Yeah, yeah. For what? Like they should just remove it and be like, this video is 10k. How to seduce someone to on a date? Okay, fuck. Oh, that looks date like good with someone we like. We really want, of course, good for animation. the evening to go well. Don't do all the talking. Be funny and light. Ask them about themselves. Don't pry. Select a small, Ooh, like perhaps that? Italian restaurant. Leave a generous tip. Ooh, Wear yes. nice shoes. Yes. We're understandably nervous. Yeah. We're trying to do something which is very strange and tricky. Seduce another person. True. Not so much in the narrow and potentially sinister sense of trying to beguile them into having sex with us, but in a larger, more fundamental way of yes. getting them to like us. Yeah. A date is in essence an audition. 
much more than we usually admit. Okay, this is actually, this is not bad advice though. I mean, here, let's see. Please address this chatter. Hey, it's me, Libby. A guy approached me while I was working yesterday and he showed me clips of him playing Rocket League. I have never wanted to run away faster. Girl, don't walk, run. Don't run, fly away. Yeah, I mean, the only thing worse than that is if you show me playing League, you know what I mean? Check out this Rocket League compilation. I've been playing this new Evelyn build. It's really, really great for jungling and <laughs> Let me tell you about this OP I'm jungling okay path. This. I always counter jungle after I take my level two creeps and When people speak like passionately, I'm actually interested. True. Uh, Arya has been watching ask? these videos going, these are very good. <laughs> no, okay, and also I love when dudes show me their, you know, Rocket League videos, please trap me in a corner and show me that. Rocket while, League videos. On your iPad while our arms yeah. touch. Oh. Yeah. Seduction, in its larger, more important sense, means gradually persuading someone that we're a plausible candidate with mm -hmm. whom to be in a oh, relationship. So the question then is, what are the things that might properly show us in this light? Yes. What do we need to do to get them on board? Bro, the British accent is so goaded. Okay, it's just it really like, is. it's OP. It, it, it kind of doesn't count. Like, if you have a British accent, you just have like plus five charisma. I try my hardest to like make fun of British people, you know, because, you know, I'm just jealous of their accent. Okay, there, I said it. This is why some girls reject me because of too much attraction. So there's, there's two ends. to watch a banger real quick yeah let's do it why we pick difficult partner oh i've because seen this one too already much Aww. attraction well, yeah. so there's two ends of the spectrum attraction and comfort if you have too much attraction in the girl's eyes she will perceive you as too high value and she will be afraid that you are going yeah. to reject no that's that's her. me that's like good enough that's so like kind of my shit too that, honestly on the